What's up everyone, it's Sam from Six Four Wheels, back with more diecast, and today we're gonna be unboxing nine Matchbox Hitch and Haul sets. So these are cool two vehicle diorama sets that Matchbox has been releasing on and off since about 2007. Uh, they introduced the line then, it went for a few years and they stopped making them probably in the mid 2010s, 2013, 14. And then it came back in 2021. They released eight sets in 2021 um, and they were all new. So they were new vehicles or like new combination of vehicles, new accessories, a lot of different stuff. Then for 2022, they took four of the 2021 sets, put four of them into 2022 and then made four new ones for 2022. So we had um, half repeats for 2022 and then half new ones for 2023 we had only two repeats and then the rest were new which is really cool uh the bad news is is i did not find a single one for 2023 and i'm not exaggerating i looked in probably five different states in every store that i went to i checked for these because i really like these i collect these did not find a single one. I have no idea what they did with the distribution in 2023. I did check online prior to making this video to make sure they actually did come out. Um, the Matchbox Wiki shows them. Uh, eBay had some. So they do exist. I just never seen them. So if you found any of the Hitch and Halls with the 70th logo on them from last year, let me know in the comments where you found them and which ones you found because there were some really killer ones last year. Uh, there was a farm one that would go really well with the farm action driver set. And just a, a bunch more good ones. So when I find them, if I do ever find them, I will definitely make a video on those. But today we're going to focus on these. So like I said, these sets are from 2021 and 2022. They are technically all the new sets from 2021 and then some of the carryover from 22. So um, I did a previous unboxing of those um, and it was, I'm trying to think, two of the sets from 2021. And it was this because I believe this is a repeat or it was a very similar one to this. And then um, the, what other one? Oh, the Volkswagen one. It was like a Volkswagen transporter a beach scene. I did both of those, so we we're missing those. But other than that, um, I believe most of the sets are represented. There is, however, one variation or one release I didn't find. Um, they had a dune buggy version of this with like a different colored stop sign, but it was the same set. Like it came with the same people, the cones. As far as I know, it was the same minus the vehicle and some other details. Um, that one I am missing, but the rest... Still good unboxings. We got nine to go through. There's some really cool variations of accessories and just themes. And they do go along with a lot of other Matchbox stuff, which is cool. So let's go ahead and look through them. And then um, we'll kind of, I guess, just unbox them. Oh, before I do that too, I wanted to show you some other ones that I have found. Um, these are Battle Kings because Matchbox has done these like two vehicle sets for quite a while and they've done different variations of them so here is a battle king set this is like a, a military base one they had a few of them let me see if i have a few more here so they had a few more of these and i really like these i found them at a local toy show and i'm going to try to find more if there is any more uh, but i really like these because you don't really get a lot of military stuff and this one even says projectiles it even has a launcher like i think the days of us getting matchbox and hot wheels like heavily branded military stuff is over um but i wanted to show you those so if you want to see unboxing of those let me know too because those are from like oh man when are those from hang on let me double check these are from 2008 so really it would have been the same time that the hitch and haul was released so they must have been on like a two vehicle diorama kick back then um but those are really cool but i just want to show you like a little bit of the history of that because that's from the same era um that these got released in the first time so the first one Let's go ahead and dig into this. So the first one is the like fire station or emergency crew. Uh, it's got some characters there. You can see the ambulance and the fire truck. Very cool. I like that one. That would go very well with the action driver set too. Um, this one, I guess I would just call it like the uh, road hazard or wreck set, the tow and recovery set uh, vehicle with a tow truck and got the little guy on the phone, um, the construction worker, or, or I guess like maintenance man. I don't know. Some of these like the cones are way too big for the scale, but it's still cool. So we'll get to that one. One of my personal favorites, the uh, dinosaur one. So this is like an archaeology dig. Uh, this is one of the original sets from 2007 that they've re-released a couple times and then they've kind of like retooled it. So uh, I think the T-Rex is the same and maybe the egg, but they retooled some of the other things that come with it. So this is like one of the OGs. This one has been around probably the longest out of all these. So next up, 
uh, the Western, the horse one. This one is one of my favorites because I like Western stuff. I like cowboy hats. Um, I just like everything about this. This is such a cool set. I love the color. The cactuses are super green though, um, but it's got that awesome Wagoneer with the horse trailer. It's got the little cowboy back there. Very cool set. I'm very excited for that one. Next up, we have another addition to the National Parks. Uh, if you follow a Lamely group at all, you'll know he's collected all the National Parks. Um, they put them in five packs. They put them a, really bit, a little bit of everywhere, including the Hitchin Hall line. So this one, like look at the grizzly bear. That is awesome. So I don't know if that was supposed to ha have a sticker on it or if there's a sticker on the back because it looks like it's supposed to have something. So we'll check it out and see, but it's got a nice little camping trailer. You got a little uh, hiker there. Very cool. I just love the bear. Some of these accessories are actually like better than the vehicles. Next up, we have a swamp one. We got two alligators right there with the, uh, oh, like, technically they're Crocs because it says Croc Team 2. Um, nice crocodile hunter. I think, does he have a whip or a snake? I don't know what he has. I don't know what's going on. They've got a dead tree, but this is cool. Like just this little set, if you have this, has so much, like, so much opportunity, um, for play and different dioramas. This is just a killer set. Love the look of that one. Next up, we have another one that kind of reminds me of the, uh, national parks. You could probably go along with the national parks Dodge Durango with the pop-up camper. Again, I think that's the same hiker. Uh, probably the same wolf as the other one, but this time we have a big old deer. Look at that rack. What does that say? Oh, it says, I love camping on the front. That's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and unbox that one too. Next up, we have the, I guess this would be the Ocean Rescue. It's got a sea dew. It's got some divers. It's got that awesome shark. I think this is one of the ones I unboxed originally. I can't remember, but I thought it was because that little sea dew is awesome. I hope it comes off. I don't know if it does. It's probably molded to it, but it looks cool. We'll find out. And then here we have uh, the beach scene. So the one I unboxed before was the, I think it was the T2, the Volkswagen Transporter. It was like a 70s or 80s one on the truck. I think it had very similar surfboards and a couple other things. Like the characters might've been different, uh, but this one's really cool. It's got that Ranchero with the, with the rip tied on the side, uh, matching trailer, just, just awesome sets. Like I really hope they release this for 2024 and that we can actually find them because this is such a cool set. Like there's just so much, um, just so many good, good accessories and everything. Like I just like, I don't even know what to say. They're just great. So, all right. So let's go ahead and unbox these. So this one is actually from 2021. So this is one of the earlier ones. Number one of eight here. How well these are packed in there. Let's see. Thanks. Okay. Do, now, do they have a name? No. Okay. All right, let's check this out. So these are basically, like, we don't have to spend a ton of time looking at the vehicles, uh, but this is a good-looking fire truck. It's got a lot of graphics on it. Don't play with matches. Play with Matchbox. That is so cool. Okay. Let's get the little billboard out. Look at that. That is so cool. Like that would just make a great accessory to like the edge of an action driver's town or outside of the uh, volcano one would be a really ironic place to put that. But that is awesome. Very cool. That's like one of the coolest accessories already. Okay. Then we have uh, the fireman. Look at him. He's getting ready to just blast that fire. It's got the little uh, hydrant there. These are pretty, I'm trying to think, like they're pretty solid. They're not like rubbery or anything. They're almost like, it, they feel rubbery, but they're really hard. So if you never bought one of these, I mean, they're pretty hard. So you don't want to step on this. If this is on the floor, you're going to home alone it. Like you're just going to stick that straight through your foot. So don't step on these, but man, it's, I mean, it's got decent detail for what it is. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, did I already lose one of those? Oh, I did. Look at that. It's in the package. Okay. Okay. So we have two little like roadblocks there, pretty cheap, but not bad. Again, they're, they're pretty hard plastic. They're not rubbery or anything. So now we have a really nice fire scene here. <sighs> Firefighters got this in the background. Like all these set up afterwards are going to look so insane. Got the ambulance there. So the ambulance just is like the Matchbox, um, like fantasy ambulance, but it looks good. I think Matchbox does a really good job of like, even though this isn't, a license casting it looks exactly like a licensed one i mean there you can tell they're a little bit even this one i don't think this is licensed is it 
um, yeah, Hazard Squad, but this looks exactly um, like one of the European fire trucks that they sell. I mean, it looks good. Boom, there's the first one. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to try to, get, I don't know. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try to keep them all set up just so we can like see, but we might have to like move them around a little bit to, to get everything in the screen. So here is the, uh, we'll call it, call it the Wreck and Recovery one. This one is from 2022. So there you can see the back of that one. All right, let's see here. I'm going to have a huge pile of plastic by the time this is done on the floor. All right, I'm going to pull these out. Okay. So there is the tow truck. I believe this is the one that moves, right? Yeah, so that's cool. Anytime there's a moving part in like a basic like that, I eat that up. That is nice. So we'll go ahead and look at that. Weezer Ma towing. Service in Cleveland. Ayo, shout out to Ohio. Nice, not bad. I like the color because it's very like emergency based. And then we have the uh, Colorado Extreme. It's a good casting. It's got a nice detail on it and it fits. Well, it kind of fits nicely on the truck. Got to kind of pull the uh, the bed out of it a little. Interesting. Nice. Okay. We have these giant cones. These are way too big. Like this cone is as big. Like look how big it is. That is a huge. That's like a, a comedic size cone that comes with that. But I understand because... I guess you can't make everything suit because like a 164 scale cone is like this big. They're so tiny. So I understand why uh, they're that big. The stop sign that's dented because somebody drove into it. So you kind of like, like wrecked into it right there. Cool accessory. I like that. I like that they wrecked into it. It almost looks like there's like pieces and parts of cars at the bottom. Like there's a wheel, like it drove up on the curb and, went, and like blew all of its parts everywhere. All right. Then we got the little guy on the phone. Probably calling his insurance. And then we have an odd, this is kind of an odd combination of a guy. Cause it's like, he has like what looks like a wrench and then something else in his hand. I don't know, like an air hose or something. I don't know what it is, but to me, it doesn't really, I, I guess it goes along with the tow. Like the yeah, guy just like moving the buttons on the tow truck probably would have been better, but I, I guess we'll take it. So I guess if he's having a wreck, the uh, emergency crews can come over here and Put the fire out. There we go. Okay. All right. The T-Rex one. This one's so killer. I love this. Okay. I wish they would do it. Like, why did they not do this in a Jurassic Park? Like a two-pack with the Explorer or two Jeeps or something? That would have been so dope. Come on, Matchbox. Get it together. Okay. So let's go. I want to open up this guy first. Okay. He looks like a little Indiana Jones type guy. Like, you can kind of see that he has binoculars on. And I... I don't know if that's a whip or a pouch and he's got a shovel in his hand. So he's a uh, really intent on finding some uh, dinosaur bones. So there we have like a dino nest, which probably, well, let's set this down real quick. It sets the egg on top of it. And this egg is weird because it's like a, it looks like a tiny T-Rex is being born, but it's like fossilized. So then you just put this thing down there like that, almost like a little golf tee. So that's how you find it. So I guess you could just set it up like that. And then the guy's looking at it with his binoculars for some reason. But this is pretty cool. The little T-Rex. And it's made, this one's a little more malleable. Like it's a little rubbery, but it's still like, I don't want to step on it. Like this is still hard. It's pretty hard. So and that look cool. Like down in the dirt. And then you just like dig them up. Because you could probably wash this off pretty easy. You'll probably get it dirty. Oh, it's a nice sculpt though. It's not bad. Like, I don't know if it's scaled right, but it's still pretty big. Like there it is next to the fire truck. It's not too bad. Pretty cool look. I guess we'll put him over there. Even though it doesn't make sense he's standing up unless he's in a museum. Like you're not gonna find him out in the desert and then he's gonna be standing up like that. So uh, there we have the trailer, the RV dino digger rig. Dirt to museum. That's kind of cool. Bone lab. Oh, it's got the exact, like, look at him. It's the exact dude. Look at that. Ah, uh, I see you, Matchbox. That's pretty cool. And why does he have, he has webbed feet. You see that? That's wild. Okay. Definitely RV colors. Desert colors. And then we have the little, does this come off? The little backhoe? 
Oh, it does come off. Look at that. Nice. So you get a little backhoe. Does this move too? Man, that's pretty good. So this rotates too. This moves. It's not super detailed. I mean, this is totally plastic. Um, it's very like cheap feeling because it is so small and plastic. Like there's not like the only metal is the little peg, but that's cool that it actually goes on the trailer like that. Let's see, snap it back in. How did it go on there? Go this way. Yeah, it goes on there. That's really cool. Like, I really appreciate that that moves because they could have just made it plastic like that. They didn't have to make it articulate and move around like that, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, shout out to Matchbox for that one. I like that. Set that over there. Okay, got our little, our little rescue, Jurassic Rescue going here. Okay, let's open up the Crocs. This one looks pretty cool too. So this one is from 2022. Yes, this one's awesome. Okay, got the dead tree there. Again, hard plastic. Got the gators, or the crocs. Nice little sculpt. They do a good job with the uh, sculpting of these. Even though they're kind of cheap and just a little tiny accessory, like the T-Rex, this looks good. They do good animals. They should just get a line of animal accessories and just sell them to us, because I would take these. Like, how cool would it be to put these at the base of the... Uh, like the Canyon Adventure or whatever it's called, um, action driver set. Like that would be cool just to have some of these accessories for that. Even this to put next to the Fire Town. Like they sh they need to release more of those. I don't know who we need to write at Matchbox or like email them uh, to get this stuff done, but I definitely want to make it happen. So I think I think that's a snake he's holding in a bag. It looks like he's trying to put the snake in a bag. I think. I don't know. He almost looks like Dale Earnhardt with them glasses on. I don't know. He's got big waiter boots on. It's not bad. They did a good job. Again, it's like a freebie. So let's go ahead. Oh, no. I knocked over the dead tree. Let's go ahead and look at this. This looks cool. I like the paint job on this. It's a lot of metal on this. The shovels, a lot of detail. Which What is this called? The Swamp Raider. Very appropriate. Look at that. Crocs. Croc team too. What's that say? Scout crew. I love Crocs. I mean, look at the detail, all the paint, the very nice paint they did on like all the, um, like the decals or the tampos go along with it. All right, let's see. Scout crew. Croc team too. I like that. It matches. This comes off too, right? Yeah. This one's a little older. Oh, look, the motor actually articulates as well. It moves back and forth like a real one. It's got nice detail down in the boat. Got a good little trailer. It's got a winch on it. That actually sits on there like pretty sturdy. Like you move it back and forth and it doesn't come off. Boom. Look at that. Matchbox, uh, their cars back, man, what, in the 60s, all used to have hitches on them. So you could do stuff like this no matter what car you had, whether it was a Ferrari or, you know, a Studebaker wagon. They all had hitches. And I appreciate that about Matchbox. And this is really cool. This is a good one. I like this one too. For me right now, I think that is probably the overall best one because I think the accessories look really good with that one. But I still, I'm still team of Matchbox Billboard over here. So, okay, let's open this one. The National Park set. I didn't look up the value of any of these on eBay or anything, so I hope none of them are like super rare, but I don't care because I'm gonna open them anyway. So let's go ahead and look at this one. So it doesn't have anything on it. I thought it would, because it almost like, that's definitely like the back of it. This is the front of it, but I thought it would have like a sticker or something on it to say like, you know, like a little map or something, but nope, just a plastic like little, um, you are here map kind of thing. Uh, we got the, like, let's look at this little camping trailer. So does this have a name? Uh, let me check and see. I thought, um, let me see where I just put that. I don't know where I put the card for this one. So this is the trailer trawler, as it says right here. Jeep 4x4 in the trailer trawler. So I think this part back here comes off, doesn't it? Yeah, so you can put different um, trailer accessories if you get different ones, because I think there is a different variation of this. Uh, but that's cool that that comes off, too. Again, they could have just molded that there, and it would have been fine. Like, you you wouldn't know the difference either way. So, um, there we have a nice National Parks. And it says, I love parks, like bumper sticker on it. 
Very cool. Matchbox really knows the details of this kind of stuff. I love that they have fun with it too. So there is the National Parks Jeep. CJ7 satellite communications. It's got that nice park patrol with the bear on it. Which is appropriate because it comes with the bear. Nice. I like that color. It's like that not forestry service green, but it almost is. It's like a very pale version of that. Let's see. Ooh, that slight miscalculation on that one. Um, you're not going to be able to, to use this with this one. I don't know. It has that little, like, almost like you can put it in the blow, but like, no, this, so this is, <laughs> this is not really going to work. I guess you could do it like this and drive it around, but realistically, that's a little bit of a, a logistical nightmare if you're trying to drive this trailer around. So let me see if you can even see. Let's see. Kind of move it up here. I'm trying to do it through the camera. I guess it'll drive around. So you can do it like that, but realistically, I mean, you can't really drive a trailer around like that. It's not it's not really meant to be at that angle, but it works if you're driving it around matchbox style. So, okay, let's see what else we got. Let's look at the hiker. So we got the hiker there. He's got the hiking stick, got the little hat on, got the book bag or the camel back on right there. Let's put him right there. Look at that bear. That bear is cool. Reminds me of The Great Outdoors, the old movie with uh, Dan Aykroyd and... John Candy. Oh my gosh, it took me way too long to think of that. Both of them were in Blues Brothers too. Oh, that is such a cool sculpt. Well, he ain't ready. See, I already want to play with them. Matchbox did a good job with these. Okay, and then we got a little wolf. A silver wolf, a gray wolf. Look at that. Pretty cool. Got like, look at all of our animals together. We got the T-Rex, we got the, the Crocs, we got the bear, we got the wolf, got all kinds of stuff going on here. Okay, got to move these a little bit back. Okay, let's open up some more animals here. The Western one, really like this one, the cowboy style. I like that Jeep casting. All right. So this is the 88 Jeep. Oh, Wagoneer, I keep knocking over. Was that the super tree? Oh, no, I knocked the hiker off there. Um... 88 Jeep Wagoneer in the Matchbox Pony trailer. So there you can see it says Rodeo. It's got awesome, like, look at the, uh, like, the rope detail on that. Rio Rancho, New is that New Mexico? MN? That's Minnesota, right? I don't know. It's kind of blurry on that side. Jimmy G's Rodeo. Calf Scramble Barrel Racing Goat Tying. That is cool. I don't think it opens up, does it? Oh. When was this? This is an older casting. 2016. I like it, though. Oh, I like that. It has the... Can you see down in it? Uh, not super well. I don't think there's a ton of detail in it. Uh, no, I don't think there's a ton of detail in that one. Okay. Let's look at the vehicle. Really like this wagon here. It's a good casting. I think it looks realistic. Again, it has matching. Yeah. Rio Rancho MN, right? That's Minnesota? I'm totally, yeah. I'm like, I think I'm going crazy, but yeah, I guess you can have a rodeo in Minnesota. It's not necessarily a Southwest thing, even though they have it like way out. I've never seen Minnesota that looks like that, unless this is like a Mexico state and it's supposed to be um, somewhere else I don't know. I don't know. I think MN, MN is Minnesota, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm like tripping on that one. But this looks great. Love that color. Okay. See, that fits nicely. That's how a trailer is supposed to fit. But that trailer is huge. It just looks giant on the back of that Jeep. Okay. All right, so we got the little rope and cowboy there. Looks pretty cool. Doing a popping a wheelie on the horse. He is re ready to wrangle. Look at that. That is so cool. Okay. And then we got the uh, other cowboy down here. He's ready to rope, too. I think he's got some rope in his hand. It is a very buff-looking cowboy. Dude's about to bust out of that shirt. He's got the uh, wide, like, bell-bottom pants on. Even even though it's, like, a, just a simple plastic, they did a good job of, like, kind of putting those details. Like, he has pointier shoes, like he has boots on. You can definitely see the collar in his shirt. It looks like he might have sunglasses on. He's got the nice hat. See, they did a good job with that. Not terrible. Okay, let's see. Got a little cactus over here. Let's put 
that one over here. We've got a very tall cactus. Oh, what did he say? Did he say anything on the bottom? No. Yeah, look at that. That's a humdinger. Poing! Okay. All right, let's do the camping set. So I'm trying to bust through these as fast as I can because we have so many, but also like give you enough detail to if you want to buy them to see more of them. So this is the 2018 Durango and the Matchbox Pop-Up Camper. This one is from 2021. I can't remember if I've been telling you on each of them. All right. Let's look at that deer. Oh, so this one is a little more pliable. Like you can see there, that's a little more rubbery. It's still like the body is still pretty hard, but the antlers are definitely squishy. So are the feet. But it looks good. I mean, for the sculpt, for like being like a free animal with stuff. It's technically not free because you're paying for it, but you know what I'm saying. It's just like an added accessory that they really didn't have to give you. So we probably would have bought these regardless. So here's another silver wolf. Where's that other one? Is this the exact same? Ah, so we found a duplicate. So this is the same as the, what was that, the uh, National Parks one. These appear to be the same. They have a little less detail. That's uh, probably just the mold. But yeah, these are the same. So we've got two of the same. We've got a pack of wolves here. Let's see, we got another. I think this is the same hiker too, right? Let's see. The same hiker. Yeah, it looks like the same hiker and everything. Yeah, same. So we kind of got a, a duplication of the National Parks one here a little bit. And the same thing, this is, I think this was in the National Parks one too. So now you have two um, like map places you can check um, for your little like matchbox uh, park system, which is kind of cool. I just wish they had something on them. They're just kind of lacking a little bit. So yeah, let me pull these off. It's a little out of camera here, my bad. So there is the uh, pop-up trailer. I like that it has, it says, I love camping. New Mexico, which would be NM, not MN. This pops up, right? Yeah, look at that. Popped up and everything. Can you see that person sleeping in there? I don't know if you can see that. Oh, my bad. Hang on. Can you see that? It's got some detail in there. It's got a little kitchen. Guy sleeping. That's so cool. They need to put that back in the main line. That is awesome. That's a lot of metal too. That's a solid trailer. Okay, and then we have the Durango. I'm not a big fan of the wheels because I think it looks like it's missing something without the chrome lip or the silver lip. Uh, but I do like that it says, I love camping on it. Oh, cool. What else does it say? I stop for bears and waterfalls. Matchbox. Die cast. Traveling, travel. Yeah, traveling, I think is what the license plate says. It's kind of hard to read through the camera. National Parks volunteer, cool. And then it has the uh, big moose or the deer on there again. That's cool because now these kind of go together with the camping one. So this definitely goes together um, diorama wise. Oh, I kind of got to refocus it there. But that's really cool. That looks great. It's, it is, it's a, to me, it might be a little large, but not terrible. And I like the, the decals. Like, I like that that matches. That looks great. Matchbox really knocked it out of the park with these sets. Get it out of the park. That. Okay. All right, let's look at the second water-based one. The, I guess, Shark Attack? We'll call this one the Shark Attack. This is from 2021. I may have already done an unboxing of this one. I can't remember if this was the one I unboxed in 2021 or not, but I'm getting two now. Oh, I got a paper cut. Ow. Okay. All right, let's see this one. I'm going to pull out the diver. That's cool. Nice detail on the scuba diver. And then we got a different one because he got a different arm movement in blue. That's cool. Okay, and then we've got this giant shark, which looks awesome. It's hard as well. It's got, like, it's a little plasticky, like, rubbery, but it's still very, like, it's solid. It's not hollow. So it's a, it's a nice chunk of shark there. we got a lot of predators in this one. Okay. Oh, this is, is this separate? Oh, sweet. Look at that. It is separate. That is awesome. 
Got the little jet ski that's separate with the little jet ski trailer and it's got the little nub on it so it won't come off. Easy at least while you're driving. Like it's got a little movement to it, but. All right, and then let's check this one out. This is the Rapids Rescue. So it's got a big rescue boat on top. That also, oh my gosh, it also comes off. How cool is that? It's got a life vest, some anchors. Man, that is awesome. We really need these to be re-released again because that is so cool. It says shark rollout, liquid chum, which is like the, uh, it's like their food or their bait, right? Bait, netting, first aid. There's a lot of detail on this. It comes with the plastic boat that pops off. I mean, it looks good. Not bad. There's no window in it, though. I don't know if there was supposed to be a window. I assume... But there's no window in this one. Maybe not. Because it's like water-based? I don't know. But there's no window. I don't know if anybody else has this one. Uh, but there's no window in mine. So let's go ahead. See? Nice. It does attach very nicely. Man, that's a cool one too. I like that one. Look at this. How many... Like, if you were to buy these... I mean, if you bought them all, it would cost you a little bit. But look how much stuff you're getting. I mean, there's just an absolute insane amount of stuff here. You would absolutely like if you went through the whole year and there's only eight of these and you bought one a month, that's like seven dollars a month. And you could have your whole like action drivers set, like your whole diorama city full of these. And that would just be killer. They need to re-release these and market them as action driver accessories and then give us more roads. And these that would that would be the way to go. Matchbox. OK. All right, so this is the Ranchero. Very good looking casting. Ooh, oh, let me adjust my focus here. Love the detail on this one. It's got like the Riptide. It's got a couple logos on the back. They are all uh, fantasy, like they don't exist, uh, but they look good on it. Really like this paint job. And we got the trailer that matches. It's got a metal base. What is this one called? Travel Trailer 2. Is that after the first one or like the, the original or one from like, 96 i don't know all right let's check this out so yeah that one fits good too look at that they did a good job with these the only one that was really weird was the uh, national parks trailer but this looks great i don't think there's anything that moves or you can take off of it or anything um but it looks good yeah because it's um riveted the plastic is riveted but i don't know if you can see anything the windows are too dark can't see anything in there but it's a good looking trailer Man, that's nice. Okay, put this one over here. Put it back on the trailer. Oop. And then look at the accessories real quick. So then we have a beach accessory. We've got a nice cooler, some surfboards sticking out of the sand. Then we got, let's see what else we got here. We got a paddle boarder. Oop. Come on. There we go. We got a paddle boarder standing up on it. It's pretty, he looks, that guy looks like a mannequin. He's looking very serious, like very stuck on there, like Weekend at Bernie's style, like he's just frozen. And then we have another guy, but this is odd to me how this guy is dressed because he clearly has a nice drink, but he's at the beach and he's wearing a hooded sweatshirt, long pants, and what looks to be a construction hat. It's a very weird combination. Like, I don't know why he would be at the beach in full long sleeve anything. So this is an oddity to me. And I think I have unboxed this one before. At least, yeah, the Volkswagen one. Because I remember talking about that. It's just very odd to have a long sleeve uh, swimmer there. But there they are. There are all, what, nine, I think it was? Let me pop this down so you can see it a little bit so there's all nine of them that is a huge bunch of accessories i think this is probably one of my favorite accessories this is so cool like this will look good anywhere on any diorama i do like the dinosaur i think one of the best bang for the buck ones is the uh, beach rescue or whatever because it has two vehicles a trailer and a boat um also the shark could be used for like these two could kind of go together the camper like the um, paddle border with the shark and the rescue that could go together. Um, the fire and the wreck could go together. The camping and the national parks could definitely go together. Um, and then you kind of have a couple oddballs. Like then you have the cowboy one that's kind of desert. I guess the cowboy and the, the dino digger rig could be out in the desert. And then you have the swamp one, which also could be like the boat rescue if you wanted to. 
um, cause it's kind of a smaller version of this, but really they all could go together somehow. Um, you could make it work every, there's like an action driver set for all these. You could basically put this one at the volcano or the outdoor one. You could put some of these at the ferry. You could do this one at the Canyon one. You could do this one at the fire station. I mean, really there's a lot. A lot. You could do this one at the farm. I mean, there's just so many opportunities for these. So now that you've seen them all and I rambled on and on, let me know what you think of these in the comments. Which one was your favorite that we opened? Um, and if you've seen any of these in 2023, because as I was saying earlier, did not see a one. So I really appreciate you sticking through those with me. Uh, there's some really cool stuff. Let me know which one's your favorite, your least favorite, if you collect these. Um, also, I will do more of these when they get released, if I can find them, because they look just look awesome. So I really appreciate you watching the Sam 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Woo! Oh, <laughs>